damn, 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 Paramore. I just, I just couldn't wait no more. <laughs> really. Hi everyone. Thursday nights. Back again. Music with Bob. And we're gonna listen to Paramore's new album, Hard Time. Oh, After Laughter. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. After Laughter. When I first heard Hard Times, it was with my friend Sam. It was such a dope song, and like I just got excited. And then I really, um, before that, I was not looking forward to Paramore's new album. And then, you know, when this song came out. It's just like that song like I'm listening to that song a lot and uh, after that uh, told you so uh, the new single also came in and it didn't disappoint me at all uh, it it's it was almost at the same level with hard science which was dope like I I like told you so as well so got really excited to this album and like um, I'm hoping that you know they will keep that positive vibe throughout the whole album and I hope and probably it's gonna happen but I'm just like hoping really hoping because like I love the feel of it and um, you know I was I, I'm really like I can't wait <laughs> let's just get into it Paramore after after uh, after <laughs> after laughter <laughs> first reaction to this album let's go yeah, we're just gonna listen to it a little bit and just move on. Alright, got the feel of it. Moving on to the second one. Rose Colored Boy, track 2. Okay, okay. Solid track, I like it as well. Track three, told you so. Oh, okay. For all I know, okay. you can. Is it enough? And I hate you. Say, I told you so. the track um, it sounded like I don't know a uh, soundtrack to uh, Sims uh, the game Sims but uh, <laughs> you know it's just actually uh, I have like positive um, nostalgia you know about Sims the game Sims like the Sims 2 Sims 3 and even Sims 4 I played uh, like in the menu you in the menu like when you were like making creating a family or you were just basically in the menu and doing something uh, the background music would pop up and it would sound like this <laughs> uh, approximately but uh, uh, yeah so like the vibe I was getting it was good it was good and then also the lyrics was on point forgiveness like hey you're expecting 
forgiveness from me, but you know, I just like cannot give it to you, something like that. And then um, the vocals, uh, the melody, you know, were were working well. I like the track. Track five, fake happy. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see what's up. What you see, but I'm so fake happy. A fevery body here is just as insincere. Happy. Wait, what? <laughs> No way you twisted that song like that. Oh. I've been doing a good job. I'm making them think. I'm quite alright. Whoa! Whoa! I don't see it's easy when I'm stomping on a beat. I can't believe. Hey, if I smile for my teeth, I bet you'll believe me. If I smile for Oh, please! Don't ask hey. me how I'm bad. Don't make me play for 10. Play though, it's so beautiful, it's so amazing. Hold on to if you got it. Track seven Pool. I like the instrumentals which Paramore brings since they have been like an uh, alternative rock punk group they are still having like a guitar, drums and instrumentals like that but since they are making a pop record this time they still have those elements it just sounds good sounds good pop record with the alternative feel Track 8, Grudges Grudges, I think it will be my kind of least favorite one because it was like kind of really like same pattern all over uh, and uh, kind of corny a little bit. Uh, it's like you know, pretty regular alternative song you would get. That's why maybe like I wasn't really into it. Um, but uh, moving on, track nine, caught in the middle. Track 10, Idol of Worship. Right after track 10, the transition was good. 
Wait, where is Hayley Williams? <laughs> she, she used to sing all the time. Where is she now? Huh. Interesting. So there was no Hayley Williams on track 11. It was just like a... Nothing comes of it. And just know we are grateful. An instrumental track it was only. And the last one is Tell Me How. Track 12. Paramore. The album uh, is finishing off uh, very strongly, um, in, but in a sad kind of mood a little bit. Yeah, I think Tell Me How is a very um, strong song and uh, can be one of the best in this album. Uh, just because of the emotions and what's going on in the song, it kind of feels more powerful rather than the songs I have listened to. Um, from track 6 to uh, 11. It was a little bit indifferent towards them, um, although I liked them, but uh, I wasn't really impressed. It was just like, yeah, decent songs, but yeah, this one kind of stands out for me. And uh, that's the end of the album, basically. Yeah, uh, it was a pretty good listen. I liked, uh, I liked the album. I uh, could not, I won't say that I will listen to this album a lot a lot but you know there are definitely songs that I will come back and listen to it. my favorites are still um, told you so and uh, hard times but uh, fake happy was I think fake happy was really great as well for me and I will uh, get back to fake happy and listen to it a lot uh, and also there are a couple of other tracks which are worth listening um, again and like coming back more and more um, but as a whole yeah good job good job Paramore started um, kind of um, not enthusiastic kind of tired you know like this week has been so busy and crazy <laughs> a lot of stuff was going on that was my review thank you for watching and um, hit the like button if you like subscribe to this channel and as always Ah, uh, пока. Hasta luego. Arrivederci. Ah, Federzin. A memoir. Goodbye. Just wanted you to know.